Sean Winter took down event number one. Aram Zobian was victorious in event number two. And now it is time for the event number three final table. Welcome back to the 2023 PokerGo Cup. Kerry Katz is back at the final table. Let's dive right in as Kristen Fox and also back at her second final table of this 2023 Poker Masters. We're back in Las Vegas. We're back at the PokerGo studio. Thank you all once again so much for tuning in to this one hour free preview of the proceedings here in this 10K No Limit Hold'em event at Aria Resort and Casino. My name is Remko Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me on this one hour free preview. Ali Najat and Marie Ho are on the call on the main channel. Please tune into PokerGo.com to watch the full final table as we are doing a one hour preview. And Adrian Mateos also back at yet another final table. So we got a stacked lineup here once again. And there it is, Kerry Katz, the only player so far to cash in all three events. Fox had the second consecutive final table at this Poker uh, PokerGo Cup. Once again, bringing in the coffee to get things going. Got to be well caffeinated to play in these big events. And here's a look at our final table chip counts. Philip Singh Ching is our chip leader, 4.4 million, has a big lead over Ed Sebesta, Kerry Katz, Nick Schulman, Adrian Mateos, and Kristen Foxen is our short stack with just eight big blinds. We have 90 total entries, 13 players finished in the money, and the winner eventually will walk away with $216,000. The min cash was 18K. And like I said, 13 players finished in the money. All players right now are guaranteed $54,000. There's the Book of Gold Cup that awaits the winner at the end of this eight event series. Whew, I'm excited. If you're in the chat, please let us know where you're watching from. Let us know how you feel. We're ready for some more poker action. It's time to okay. rock and you're roll. This picks it up. Yeah, I think they like when you do that. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. I don't know. If I, if I glance that way, maybe. Just like, like okay. put one hand shield. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of awkward, so I'll try it. Yeah, no, it's, I appreciate it's, that. It, well, it's just a bad spot. Right? Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm going to try not even to look that direction. Yeah. First hand, Foxen, eight big blinds. No. Pocket Jackson, me small and you, blind. Me and you. That is the best case scenario, Donnie, right off the bat here. <laughs> Gotta love it. Big pair right away. Some would call it a middle pair. All in? Call. <laughs> wow, eights versus Hello. jacks. What kind of setup is this? Very <laughs> first wow. hand. What kind of place I are we said you were going to double me up. I did here? say this. First hand. Now I have to hold. All right. You did put that in the universe. I, I did. Was w. Yes. Why did you put that in the universe? Can you put, you're, you're, rich. you're rich. You have a lot of chips. You can afford oh, it. I can afford that. I would yes, say you you're rich too. Hey, my sister lied. It's important. Oh, no. I don't want to Paul Campbell in the background <laughs> getting <laughs> event number four underway. Let's look at the flop here. Four, five, five, two diamonds. Running diamonds, a possibility here for Katz to send Fox into the rail. But so far, so good. Carry Katz only two outs to send Fox into the rail. Ooh, six of diamonds. Thirteen outs all of a sudden. Diamonds. I gotta find a better turn card that wasn't an eight. Okay. It's a fun sweat for you now. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> River card oh. nine of diamonds. And number right. one, game. Kristen Fox <laughs> into the rail. I I willed that one. Not yes. able to spin up her eight big blind stack. And there you go, first casualty of the day. Kristen Fox eliminated in sixth place. 54K is her take home. And I'm pretty sure she's going to take that coffee yeah. and walk straight to the cage, <laughs> and sign up for event number four, because she already has some points, Donnie, here for the standings. She does. She took fourth place yesterday in event number uh, two. Back to back final tables for her. Good I showing. She played well today. Now, I know Carrie is the only one that's cashed in all three events, but Kristen's only played two events and has made the final table of both. Very well today. There you go. <laughs> she skipped the first event because, according to Alex, she had a massage that she didn't want to miss. <laughs> Great Priorities, right? A great reason to uh, to miss a, miss an event. See Mr. Shulman for the first time at the Poker Go Cup. This is the first event that he's played. Adrian Mateos, you all remember from event number one, final table. Where 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 are, where are the Spanish Mateos fans at? because we had plenty of those in the chat the last two nights. Hey, Paul, you want some more blues? Mateos here with a raise, 80K from the button at Sevesta in the big blind, king six off. Giving it some thought. Mm -hmm. 
That's the best of living his best life, Donnie. Just Praise. playing with the big with the big guns, and there it is, 300K. Oh. Wow, snap full from Mateos, Donnie. There you go. Oh, wait, Love wait, to see wait. it. Oh. As a 2303 says, Forza the Sebesta Army. Okay. Here's a look at the levels that we are going to play at this final table. 25, 25K, 50K with a 50K Big Blunt Annie right now. Donnie, just two events ago, we played uh, 125K, 250K with a 250K Annie, and we were also forehanded. Yeah, that was uh, quite wild Hundred. that we played for that long, you know, four and five handed in that opening tournament. Is that what you mean, the yellow one? <laughs> <laughs> Our chip leader, Philip Shing, raising it up to 100K with King Queen off. Ryan C. Ford, what the heck happened to Foxen? Well, first hand, she had jacks <laughs> in the small blind. Carrie Katz had eights in the big blind. They got it all in, and Carrie ran out at four flush. <laughs> first hand, lasted all of like 30 seconds. The race for the cup <coughs> right here, Sean Winter, 216 points, of course, winning event number one. Ram Zobian, winner of event, event number two. Kristen Foxen now, two caches. She's up there, but Kerry Katz on his third cash, Donnie. Yeah, Kerry Katz came into this event with 77 points, so he could move quite a bit of a ways up that leaderboard. First place is going to be worth 216 points. Adrian Mateos could also overtake the top spot on the leaderboard if he goes on to win because he has had a final table. Darla in the chat on YouTube is saying, Kristen was called Supernova Elite yesterday. What does that mean? Supernova Elite is a status that you can, you could in the past achieve on PokerStars where if you got a million player points over the course of a year, you would get special bonuses and cash prizes. That no longer exists, but back in the day, that was one of the sort of benchmarks for online poker performance if you were able to reach that status, and uh, it was quite rare. Um, yeah, only a handful of people got it every year, and the people that did get it were grinding, you know, 12 plus tables for every nine day. plus months. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so it's a, it's a testament to her skill in the game and her discipline and determination because you know, plenty of players have tried to reach that status and went broke along the way. Mm -hmm. um, profiting and reaching that status was always a, a big thing for players to go after, and she did an incredible job at reaching it, I believe, three years straight. Um, at Sebesta and Mateos here clashing once again. Mateos raised 100K before the flop. Sebesta called the button, and uh, 110K on the flop, and a call, now we're on the turn. Top pair, top kicker for Sebesta. Mateos, however, picks up a flush draw, Donnie. He does. Decent card if Mateos wants to continue to barrel here. Mateos probably factoring in some percentage of the time that the king or the queen is going to be good as well. <coughs> I wonder if Ed's just going to call down or whether he's going to try to get some more money in the middle here, Donnie. I think a lot of players would call down. I'm just not sure on Ed specifically. Right. I, I don't know if he's going to like get a little bit crazy, get a little bit aggressive. Not that it's crazy. But <coughs> it's this call. If you're just tuning in, you already missed Kristen Foxen, who busted on the very first hand. Eight on the river gives Sebesta the check mark. Let's see if Mateos is going to fire again if Sebesta opts the check. My goal in life is to be like Ed Sebesta. <laughs> I'm not sure Ed has a lot of nines in his range here. 
which could lend Mateos to just rip this in and put Ed in a really tough spot. How, how different is Adani playing in a spot like this versus Ed Sebesta versus a Nick Schulman? For, for Adrian in this case. Yeah, I think Adrian have a little bit of a better idea of what a player like a Nick Schulman is going to do. Probably plays more similar to him, so he can kind of think things through a little bit better. I don't know how much experience Adrian Mateos has with Ed Sebesta. Ed Sebesta plays a lot of our events, plays a lot of high rollers around here in the U.S., but um, I don't know about these two specifically. I think that's kind of <laughs> what's running through Adrian's mind right here, and if he's going to try and rep a nine and stick this in and get Ed off the hand. <coughs> we saw what happened with Mateos at the previous final level. He checks behind, gives up. Sylvester's going to show the best hands. Perhaps Mateos still having a little bit of PTSD from trying to bluff Alex Foxen off of ace high. That backfired in a glorious way. You can watch that whole hand on our YouTube channel. Amazing call from Alex Foxen. And there's a look at the Ed Sylvester bio sheet. Retiree from Richmond, Texas. Studied chemical engineering at the University of Texas. Passionate philanthropist. And his best result, a win in the 2022 Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open for 311K. I believe that was a high roller that he won down there. No big deal. Love to see it. Ed's retired, loves the game, loves playing, loves battling. If you're in the chat, when we hit 500 likes, we'll hand away, hand out another annual subscription to Poker Go. We had 90 entries in this event. These are the final five. If you are one of the winners from the last two days, forgive me, I forgot to send you the annual sub. I will do it at the end of this hour right away. I see the emails in my inbox. Do appreciate everyone for watching the show. So yeah, let's get those likes up. Let's get up to 500 and I'll give away an annual subscription as we see Ed Sylvester raising here. A little over three times the big blind Donnie. Some old school poker. It is old school <coughs> poker. It'll be interesting to see what Shing does here. Ace nine of clubs. the runaway chip leader so far, but Ed Sylvester chipping up nicely, now sitting on 50 big blinds. Four, nine, three rolls off the deck. Exactly what Shing was looking for. Yeah, like double check that, double check. Make sure that's a nine. <laughs> make sure you hit that top pair, top yeah, picker. And make sure the four is a club as well while you're at it. Exactly. <coughs> Definitely see Sebesta uh, stabbing here at least once, Donnie. Yeah, I think a bet here is warranted. He can go. I mean, I don't know. I think Ed will go. 110, okay. I was going to say, I prefer a smaller size, and I didn't know what Ed would do having raised more than 3x pre flop, but. That's pretty nice, right? You know, 160 before the flop, maybe not common these days, but then he does decide to bet small on the flop. Yeah, a little down bet action here. I mean, we know Shing isn't going anywhere, but... 350. Oh, wow. Coming with the check raise. How do you feel about that, Donnie? Realizing equity against weaker hands, but what weaker hands could Ed have here that he wants to continue with? I wonder if this is just an experience thing with these two players. Wouldn't you be worried about tens, jacks? Of course, yeah. Kings and no, queens. Which is, which is why I'm just kind of wondering if, it, if it's an experience thing, if Shing has been playing with Ed throughout this event, if he knows that, you know, on a small bet, you know, probably means some weakness for him. I, I, I don't know for sure. Um, oh, oh, thank you. Might need it. Shing chipping up, sitting on nearly 100 big blinds. In case you're wondering, this is a one-hour free preview of the action. You can watch... The full stream on PokerGo.com. Use promo code PGCUP23 to save $20 on your annual subscription. Ali Najad and Maria Ho, two outstanding professionals on the commentary there today. And here's a look at the chip denominations. The blue 5Ks, the 25Ks are purple, and the yellows, the, the bumblebees, are Did worth $100,000. Right. Yeah, Raise 100. 
Ed Sylvester, the raising machine. I love it. Let's go. We can hear a fold. Your action Ed today. <laughs> <laughs> After three straight raises, Kerry Katz still not willing to tangle there with the ace three offsuit, and Ed gets some money back. Nick Schulman very quiet so far, Donnie. We haven't even heard a word of him. Some cards that require action. Aza is asking, how did Jeff do yesterday, Donnie? 15th, two off the money. Brutal. Kerry Katz got him. Kerry Katz clipped him pretty hard, and then Kerry Katz got the rest of his chips. Jeff Platt <coughs> back on the commentary with Brent Hanks tomorrow on bookgo.com. He's got to make that money back somehow. Of course. Blind battle here. Katz decides to limp. Let's see Run if Ed's going to put in a raise. Why not? <laughs> Friendly game of poker. Check, check on the flop. Cats leads for 100K on the turn after flopping a pair and turning a flush draw. That's enough to take it down. Bully. <sighs> Hardly. Not a good hand. Yeah. Kerry Katz, of course, stacked resume both on and off the felt. 12th on poker's all-time money list. Winner of Super High Rollable London. 2.6 million. That was the most stacked final table I've ever seen. <laughs> it was Kerry Katz, Chitwick, Vogel saying, um, who else was there? Timothy Adams Timothy there? Timothy Adams was there, yeah, it was crazy. Well, Darren, get your 10K and come on over to the studio and play. <coughs> Adamo is not here, at least not yet. We do have some escalating buy-ins, Donnie. What, what, what else do we have on tap here for the Book of Go Cup? You got a 15K kicking off on Monday, and then we get into, I think it's three. Is it two or three 25Ks? And then a 50K finale. Two 25Ks and then a 50K finale. Close with a bang. Exactly right. Like I said before, 90 entries in this event, 13 cashed. Notable bust-outs before the final table. Justin Young and Nick Petrangelo, 7th and 8th. I believe that's Justin Young's second cash as well yep. in this series. Um, and I, I just want to say, Donnie, compared to previous series that we've had in recent years, Masters, U.S. Poker Open, and the Poker Go Cup, I'm seeing a lot of people go off for multiple caches right off the bat. And I think it's going to make the race for the Cup extra interesting uh, with those bigger buy-ins still to come. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you that, that a lot of people are cashing early on. I mean, chief among them is Kerry Katz going three for three so far. Really limits the fact that, you know, somebody can just come in at the end and just, you know, rip off a final table and then a win and lock up the cup, which is a good thing. You know, we want that competition throughout from event one all the way to the finale. <coughs> Jason Kuhn. <coughs> Jason Kuhn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my throat was acting up a little bit. Um, Jason Kuhn, of course. But there's a lot of those guys, Jason Kuhn, like, who, oh, yeah. who normally just come out for, like, the 25Ks and 50Ks, and they're here early. Yep. Nick Petrangelo, you mentioned. Uh, David Peters, here early. Um, you know, Seth Davies, I think, has kind of been, like, a 25K or plus guy. So, so seeing those guys come out early and, and play in all the 10Ks, I think, is great. I think it's awesome to see. And I, and I just, you know... I'm excited to see Jason Kuhn, who will probably play the 25Ks and the 50K at the end, uh, tangle as well and still have a chance to win. You know, if, if Jason Kuhn uh, rips off a fourth or a fifth in the 25K and then wins the 50K, then, you know, a very deserving winner. Kerry Katz, however, going for three straight caches. Kristen Bicknell, back-to-back final tables. Mateos, two final tables. Justin Young, two caches already. All those people are gathering points, giving you a much better chance to win that 50K cash prize bonus at the end of the Book of Cup. And, of course, take home that massive cup 
at the end of this all. Here's a look back at the previous five years of Kerry Katz's career on the felt. Of course, 10.7 million back in 2019, now up to 35.7 million, 12 on Poker's all-time money list. And Donnie and I were speculating on yesterday's stream, where will he be at the end of this year? I'm gonna go with ninth. I think he's gonna go up to ninth place on the all-time money list. For the people in the chat, without without looking it up, who do you think is in the top 10 of poker's all-time money list? All in. Play this game with me. Meanwhile, Shing moving all in, applying maximum pressure to Mateos. Snaps it off with pocket 10s. All in for just 570K. Adrian Mateos here in great shape to double up. We've seen him play this game before. Team? Where do you live nowadays? London. London, okay. That, that makes sense. A little casual. Pre-flop small talk there between Kerry Katz and Andrew Mateos <laughs> as his tournament life is indeed on the line. You know, you want to get the question in before he busts out and leaves the table, you know? Here it is, ace-queen three. Shing hits it. And Mateos all but out. Needs a, one of the remaining two tens in the deck. We could be down to four real quick here, Donnie. Turn card four spades. Two outs for Adrian Mateos or he'll be out the door. See if he can catch up here. River card. Come on, dealer. River card. Show it to me. Deuce <laughs> of clubs is not going to do it. Pocket 10 is definitely not a winning combo so this far. We'll be through by 1 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. We'd be okay with man. Nick Shulman has, has yet to play a hand and is now uh, down to the final four. Mateos takes home 70K. Stay? You know? 72K. I mean. Well, they, got, they got the. You're part of the. You're part of the uh, production team. Well, that, it's, well, a, it's they, always a discussion in these spots. They have the. Spots, the, so they, they have the, uh, the you would know more than me. Coordinated to the what they want to do. Yeah. They'd have to re-coordinate the spot. I think you're right. Uh, I, 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 I mean, looking I'm looking for some extra yeah, yeah, elbow space. Yeah, it probably makes Nick's it faster. a tall guy. He has long arms, you know. Want to spread out. I mean, Ed's pretty tall too. Actually, why'd you ask him where he lives in the off season? You knew he was out of here. No, I was going to ask him that before he got involved in the hand, and I, I thought he might be losing, so I wanted to find out. <laughs> they told you. Where do you live, Adrian? And the guy's all in over here. <laughs> what we really need is uh, for us to just be quiet. I, just, and I didn't Shulman know. I was thinking he'd either be in commissary. Mexico or London. I didn't know which one. Nick Shulman, the first really raise. I don't want to be in Spain. This suited King Seven. All right, Nick. Take Why it. Spain's not friendly, gambler like friendly. So. Oh, not really? Like, not like London. Well, well London is, is uh, there's a real tax advantage to being living in London. Yeah, a lot, a lot of poker no players live in London. Yep. Yeah, like a lot of the German guys hopped over to London. Here's a look at the beautiful Ariat Resort and Casino. Everyone, set, set your alarms. Get your calendar straight. January 24th, High Stakes Poker Season 10. All new episodes debut on PokerGo. Use promo code WATCHHSP10 for $20 off your annual subscription. And look at these faces. Eric Person, Antonio Sfandiari, Daniel Legrand, who are in the mix. I can also already also tell you, Deanna Fertilli, jean Robert Bolland, also among the crowd here. And uh, man. Some new faces, too. Yes. I, I won't spoil it, but there are Give some us new one. faces. Give us one name. Bobby Baldwin. Bobby Baldwin. That's there you go. phenomenal. There's some other new ones, too, that I, I don't believe have played on High Stakes Poker before. Um, so it'll be fun. Can't wait to see what the new season brings. I believe we got at least 14 episodes coming out of the new High Stakes Poker season. Ching, or Shing just has so many, so many chips. Man. Yeah. He, just, he can just, like, take lunch and come back to play heads up. <laughs> um, Shing here, a little bio. Poker Pro from New York. An MBA from Carnegie Mellon University, former quantitative analyst. I can barely pronounce that word. And has two <laughs> WSOP rings to his name. Clearly much smarter than you and I, Donnie. That's great. Right. Mateo's cash for 72K for Arno, who's asking in the chat. DSG says Mateo's in two years will enter the top 10. Yes, I believe it. I believe it. JK says Bonomo, Kenny Negreanu, Peter Seidel, Kuhn, Dan Smith, Ivy Bojikovsky, and I'm missing just one. He says. Well, I think he's pretty pretty close there. 165. Action, Ed, back in action. 
quick raise and take. Since we got down to forehanded play so quickly, the stacks are pretty deep now. Well, they are. I mean, Shulman's <coughs> the shortest stack, but he's still got 26 big blinds. Very, very playable. Can certainly maneuver his way around with that stack. Shing on the upper end. 110 big blinds. That's just incredible. 110 big blinds at a final table. I mean, that's just that's a dream spot. And these structures are built to last for two days. And when you have 110 big blinds at the final table, that's just very impressive. Pocket six is here for Katz. He's uh, in the cutoff. If you're just tuning in, when we hit 500 likes on today's video, I'm going to give away an annual subscription to PokerGo. Actually, every 500 likes, but you know, let's get to 500 first, and then we'll see if we can get to 1,000. Just want to send my love to everyone in the chat. I see Davy Fades, Darby Jones, Sharuk, Fleeting Fights, DZ. Darla is still with us. If you got any questions for us, please send them in. Just want to root on your favorite player. Let us know. Shing in the big blind here. Donnie, what, what's what's going through his mind here, given the fact that these stacks are deeper, uh, probably more likely to three hundred twenty bet more often? And there it is. Did I just get it right for the first time ever? It might be. enough that Carey can certainly call here in position. That flop though, gonna favor Shing a bit more. Should see it continue here. One seventy five. Carries position, you know that Shing's range is a lot wider than just hands that include a king. How do you proceed though with a smaller pair? It's hard to proceed with a small pair in this spot. I mean, you can call once, of course, you know, because of the small bet sizing, but <coughs> it's really going to be dependent on how Shing approaches things going forward in this hand. See him here picking up a gut shot on the turn. In general, though, and I think many of our listeners will face situations like this. You know, an overcar to your pair. You know, you, you call the imposition. You have that advantage. Five fifty. At what point do you just give up? Is it always two barrels? Like, is there situations where you want to see the river card? Are you just, you know, too scared of your opponent having hit one of those cards? Two barrels is always tricky. Two barrels, then depending on sizing, you know, you can kind of deduce things from there. Shin going small on the flop and then taking it up to a half pot. On the turn, you know, I think it's just time to fold your hand, get out of the way, and uh, live to fight another day if you're, <laughs> if you're carry cats or anyone in that position holding a small pair like he did there with sixes. In the hopes of that, you know, the turn is like another deuce or something. Check, check. You can kind of get the showdown for cheap. Ed looks like he Raise wants to get in the mix with the jack nine off. I mean, he's action Ed I for a reason. I love it, man. Let's go. Action Ed. <coughs> for Darla and everyone else wondering. Uh, once we hit 500 likes, <coughs> do a random draw for everyone in the, in the chat to have a chance to win a free annual subscription. What does the annual subscription cost, Donnie? Full price, $99.99. If you use the promo code PGCUP23, you save $20 off of that price. It's a good deal. We also have monthly and quarterly plans available if you guys want to ben dive in there and you know, kind of test the waters so out before you go ben. to annual. I like Ben a lot. He's a great guy. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah, for sure. 216K up for grabs. Ooh. Average stack, 2.8 million. 55 big blind average, Donnie. The last time <laughs> <laughs> we looked, uh, or actually the, the, the lowest we got in event number one, I believe, was like 17 bigs for the average. Players were discussing how shallow the stacks were, but uh, there's plenty of play left at this final table. 100. If you
you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on on the PGT, check out PGT.com. We have live reporting of event number four, Mr. Dan Legrano back in the mix. We have updated standings, we have articles, interviews, all that good stuff available on our website. To Carlos and everyone else wondering, yes, we lost Adrian Mateos not too long ago. Got very unlucky. He's all in before the flop with pocket tens versus ace. Was it ace, eight, ace eight or ace nine? Ace eight. Ace eight. And um, Mr. Sh Mr. Shing flopped an ace, and that was it. Seventy-five. Clearly seen. Shane. I think I've seen you lose a hand. <laughs> Favors. I don't think so either. It's time. It's time for putting it out there. It's time for the bad, the run bad to come. <laughs> carry, carry, carry. Here to help. Didn't expect <laughs> that from such a gentleman like you. <laughs> Where did that come from? Are you superstitious? Okay. You well, don't have to have a hand. About. He just raised. <laughs> you're bar you're barking up the wrong tree here, Paul. He's got too many chips. This guy's unflappable. Just don't, don't, don't you know what I mean? Fell New Yorker. Take those tricks somewhere else, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It never go, it, it just never goes that smoothly. Isn't Nick trying to buy some like goodwill? You know, he shoves <laughs> small blind versus big blind. Shing is like, you know what? You had my back earlier. Right. I'll, I'll fold to you. I'll give up the old ace four. Like you know. Cast with the raise here. The beautiful looking ace seven suited and Schulman with the dominated diamonds. Possible trouble brewing here. Toby San is asking, is Garrett All Adelstein in. playing the Pokego Cup? All in from Schulman. I don't think I've ever seen Garrett play a single tournament ever. He doesn't really play tournaments. Uh, meanwhile, Nick right. Schulman all in. That's it. And Katz just lays it down quickly, of course. Shulman working on that tight oh. image, Donnie. Only the second hand he's That's played so far. Ball. Any merit to call that with the A7 suit, or is that just too wide? I mean, if he thinks Nick is doing that with the king queens, the king jacks, you know, maybe even queen jack suited, then yeah, maybe you want to gamble. Meanwhile, Shulman, 56 on poker's all time money list, 15 million in earnings. A couple of years ago, 15 million was. Good for a solid spot near the top ten. <laughs> yes, no longer the case. Tight is right, is what Nick Shulman is uh, saying today. Quick walk there for our chip leader. Yep. Bill? That's why I pulled it up. his weekend plans in the chat. Let us know. I went to a hockey game last night, had some tacos. It was wonderful. And now I'm already thinking, like, what am I going to do tonight? Am I going <laughs> to go out again? Tacos again, maybe? Who knows? Big fan of the all the Mexican food here in Las Vegas. Raise. 9-7 of hearts on the button. Nice looking hand to raise with. Fleeting fights. Skiing tomorrow in Colorado. Love to hear it. I would love to go skiing. Brentos playing a home game and was card debt for three hours. Well, I hope you played for 10 hours and won money in the oh other yeah. seven. 1.4. Ooh, they're virtually tied in chips. Cats and Shulman. Cats elects to just call. 28 big blinds apiece. Taking it slow. 10, 8, 5. Shulman open ended. Backdoor flush draw as well. Not much there for Katz at all. Wonder if Katz is thinking to himself that he should have just ripped it pre. Right. And got this over with. <laughs> it's interesting how sometimes the larger stacks in the 20 to 30 big blind range are great for shoving. And sometimes you're uh, sitting on 10 big blinds and you're not thinking about shoving. Uh, Cats snap calls. The 80K bet from Shulman. Snap call. Clearly a non-believer at this point at least. 
The snap call clearly also perhaps a way to influence Shulman's turn decision. Showing some confidence there. Pat's checking. Shulman, of course, not phased by whatever mind games Kerry Katz is trying to play, but he'll make up his mind, taking all the information into consideration. The Negranu cackle is alive and well in the background there. Hopefully we can see him at a final table this week. And Shulman continues firing. Going a little closer to 60% thought, I think. 250 into 435. Really tough spot for Carey here now. I and mean, obviously we can see that he has the best hand, but tricky spot for him. Nick showing strength throughout. And there it goes into the muck. The power of position. Exactly right. That's exactly what that hand was about. <coughs> Going back to the chat here, Michael A. setting hitting the MAPO tournament over here in Maryland, the Mid-Atlantic Poker Open. As we look at the Poker Go Cup from 2022, Katz and Shulman both with four caches in that series. <coughs> Elias and Osmond with four, Brock Wilson with five. Lots of people watching football. Davies played disc golf. Damn, you guys are living interesting lives. Love hearing all about it. Lots of hundred beverages being consumed on this lovely Saturday in January. And Janos is asking, is Dinex in the background there somewhere? Yes, he is. Playing event number four. Is. Live reporting of event number four is available on pgt.com. We'll have you covered in every possible way as this event number four will play down to a final table tonight and we'll stream live on Monday so no live stream tomorrow on Sunday I guess I guess football is a little bit too popular here <laughs> in the US so we will take Sunday off 80 Shing and Katz here battling. Donnie, this could be interesting. Top pair for Shing, two pair for Kerry Katz. Shing made it 100K before the flop. Katz called from the small blind. Ace of hearts on the turn. Might slow things down a little bit with three hearts out there. For more, betting 125. Good turn card for Shing. That card will probably favor him more than Katz in this spot. game now for Katz. Katz also full well aware of what Shin could do on the river here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Katz check raises here and tries to get the money in. I mean, what's calling you? It's worse. Like you said, what's Shin going to do on the river if I just call here? All in. There it wow. is. Wow. Big uh, shove from Kerry Katz. Shin with the off. snap fold. You got it right. Well Kerry done, starts. Kerry. I guess so. How do you like that compared to calling on the turn I mean it's like 50 50 and it's like I said it's just a guess because right. <laughs> <with the snap. laughs> you're gonna be in a tough spot oh, on the river likely um, you weren't scared he had a flush <laughs> because if there's a flush and one broke anyway oh, you could hit a full Fair house enough. Kerry Katz chipping up. Still the short stack though, but just one big blind separating him There's and no Nick Schulman. Another card. Sometimes we just want to shut it down. JT Downing asking, can anyone enter a PokeGo tournament? Yes. 
if you have ten thousand dollars to your name, you can walk in the studio right now and sit down with the best of the best. I'm disappointed you didn't bet bigger on the turn like you usually do. It's a scary card. You, you changed uh, changed tactics. It's a scary card, man. It's a scary bet. <laughs> You can also rail the action here at the studio. We have a nice bar where we always play the live stream. Then you can just dip into the studio. Maybe get a photo on the break with one of your favorite players. Interesting flop here, blind versus blind. We have two pair for Sebesta. Shulman flops a flush draw. Not the best hands pre-flop, but uh, this flop certainly makes it a bit more exciting. One big blind bet, a little tease, and there's the club on the turn. Sylvester's hand wasn't that great to begin with, and now it's even worse, given that Schulman hit a flush. Still got some outs, though. Paul, oh, can we get cocky? 175 from Schulman. Spot for Sebesta, who doesn't have a whole lot, but still, in these blind battles, limp pot, you might like your pair of fives. But Good pull, Dad. Does lay it down. Uh, huh? I had a pair. Pair no good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did have outs, though. Unless you mean a pair of aces. All right, guys. One, one hand left in this level. One hand yeah, left. I had to hit, hit a full bow. <laughs> one hand left in the level, I believe. Before the blinds go up. Better win that. Oh. Win the aces. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, a reminder, when we hit 500 likes on the video, we're going to give away a free annual subscription to Pokemon Go. So yeah. keep it clean, you can reach it, the ace hit that like clean. button. Anyway. Oh, little. I, yeah, I'm okay with the way I played it. Camera in motion here. Nice view from seat one. This is what the players see, Don. This is pretty cool. This is what you would get if you came down and bought in. This is what Adrian Mateos was looking at <laughs> when he was still in the <laughs> tournament. Cup of ice. Actually, two Diet Cokes, cup of ice. Two Diet Cokes and a cup of ice. Maybe. Do you want a drink? 50 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> More drinks. That's it? It's only 25 per can. Oh. It's not a whole lot. I was doing a cross-country road trip once when I figured that out. I was like, I need some caffeine. I looked at the can of Coke. I like, oh, it's only 25 milligrams. Then I had a some kind of energy drink instead and it was like 250 milligrams of caffeine <laughs> that kept me up Shing and Shulman here in the blind battle again and the fact that these stacks are deeper Donnie just makes people a lot more hesitant so it seems yeah don't want to get too crazy I mean, everyone has a playable stack even the short stack carry cats is over 30 big blinds so. Yeah, I think with that flush draw, there's very little chance you would have folded. <laughs> Oof, I had the middle eight black cards. Blair, yeah. thank you for your love. I, you know, Appreciate I, it. I think I played it about as good as I can. We've got about oh, yeah, 17 definitely. minutes no. left here on the free preview stream. Thank you all so right, much for tuning in. If you want to continue bit. watching, head on over to pokego.com. Hey, Paul, is it 60 now? 30-60, It's right behind you, Kerry, on the big screen. <laughs> 30K, 60K with the 60K anyway. big blind Annie. Good hand. Thank you, sir. Nothing much I can do about it. But yeah, circling back, save twenty dollars on your annual subscription to Poker Go by using promo code PG Cup twenty three. Where's my food? Tim Duckworth just walks in here, handing Donnie some fancy looking ahi tuna salad. What happened to wontons and new and like the noodle place? There's many options here at Aria. Right. I might have to order some food after the stream. There's a donut. 200. Oh, so wow. what's, uh, what's sci fi fantasy? Hmm? What's sci fi fantasy? Uh, this is a hoodie that my cousin bought me years ago, and it's some uh, skater who is a cool photographer. That's his friend. <laughs> That's all I know. 
Sounds good. I was totally expecting Shing to say, I designed this. You can buy this <laughs> on Shing.com. Use promo code Shing to save $20 <laughs> on your sci-fi fantasy hoodie. No, but if you do want to buy a hoodie, yes, shop.pokergo.com. There we go. We have a sale going on? 30% off kickoff sale. Select PGT merch. Celebrating the kickoff for the 2023 PGT season. Shop.pokergo.com. Shing firing here with the gut shot. Cats middle pair. He get can't eat that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tim Duckworth. Tim brings him a pastry. Remco yeah. and I have a bet. You can't eat snacks. Yeah, can't eat snacks while I'm at the studio. Didn't you bring those? Wait, the pastries? Yeah. No, Maury brought oh, those. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you. I thought when you said them to me. Pass it up to producer yeah, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, look at him. Aiden will want one. There. Oh yeah. Are so eager. Apple? Producer Aiden just grabbing the pastry, ripping it out of my hands, digging his. Yeah, he's doing me a favor. What, what, you, what are you guys eating at home? <laughs> Let us know. Three twenty-five. Yeah, it's a mess out here. Michael says, I'm an opportun opportunistic PokerGo member. Big events I buy in, then I cancel. Is that acceptable? Yes, of course. Do That's whatever you want. but I feel like you're burning money. It, yeah, I think, <laughs> the, I think the annual deal is like probably it, Have you better. added it up over the course of a year and yeah, been like, <laughs> exactly. this is good, this is bad? I do appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for the shout. Wow, JT Downing, brisket. Just Jared Crabtree munching on some NyQuil. Well, <laughs> good night, sir. <laughs> good night to you. <laughs> we were out on the river, by the way. We missed the whole street of action as Shing bet 225 on the turn. Cats made the call. 1.1 million in the middle here. Very interesting hand. Wow. The double-handed bet from Kerry Katz after hitting trips on the river. Who's he waving to? Maybe oh. the server? Yeah. The Diet Cokes are here. Double Diet Cokes. Alistair's having cheesy chips with gravy. Wow. Sounds fantastic. Fried chicken, PBJ, tacos. Davey says, girlfriend is making beef stew. Oh, I love beef stew. Can I have two uh, Pellegrinos, please? Thank you. Wow, we're all double fisting here today. You guys are just going all out on Saturday. The chat is just full of all my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. Aces for Shulman. Speaking of favorites. What do you what do you call it? What's your favorite nickname for Aces? Burgers. Burgers. The burgers. Remember when we did that reporting of Helmut? Yeah. They're gonna give me the burgers. The and Ace then it burgers. just all came full circle when he bit into that burger. Well that was a roast beef oh. sandwich, but still. Amazing. <laughs> American Airlines. Doesn't look like he's gonna get any action here. Unless Action Ed decides to get a little bit frisky with this 6-5 uh, off. He, he there is. We go. He's getting sticky. There we go. Come on, Ed. Going to a flop. Nick gets into his pose, hand over his mouth. Ace 4-9. <laughs> Just a casual <laughs> top set. The nuts is all he needs. Yeah, this could be a check back for Nick. Some back given how much he, <laughs> he smashed this board. Vesta does have backdoor straight possibilities. Let's see if he opens up some room here. Deuce on the turn. It's not going to do it. Well, three. Oh, three, so three, three, helps him out. three helps him out. Yeah. It's hard to see these gut shots sometimes. Oh, he's going to take a stab. Look at that. Sebesta leading. Love to see it. 80K. Quarter pot. Whitney Lake says arrowheads. Never heard that one before. Also never heard of that one. I like it though. Stolen girlfriend in the chat says, is Katz a GTO player? Donnie, what kind of sense do you get from Kerry Katz uh, as far as his playing style before you answer that? Raise here from Shulman at the 275. Okay, okay. Let's see if Ed gets sticky and wants to see a river.
lays it down. Good bet. Thank you. Anyway, back you to the question. See? Okay. All right. Oh. Show one. <laughs> that, that's okay, right? <laughs> uh, I wish I called it. Nick Schulman working on that image, showing the flush, and then showing top set. As Donnie mentioned, the PokeGo Shop kickoff sale is live right now. Check out shop.pokego.com. Take 30% off PGT items from now through January 20th. We got, we got zip ups, we got hats, hoodies, all that good stuff. Go check it out right now, shop.pokego.com. If you want to look the part, you better go check it out. They're very comfy, by the way. I'm a big fan. I hope they still have those PGT hoodies with the zippers. Yeah. Big, big, oh, yeah. Are those still in, in stock? Good question. I, I don't know. I'll be <laughs> running the sale for a few days. I don't know. I'm going to look right now. Uh, low mileage. First place is $216,000. Martin Dillon. This is Katz's second final table in the first event. He got 10th place, so just off of the final table. I would say Katz I can get aggressive with that. doesn't fall under the GTO really. wizard category, but I think he understands the theories. Probably plays a little bit closer, you know, more exploitive. Um, but certainly I think he understands kind of... Oh, you know, a little limp in his the pen pen over here. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been watching Daniel's... Uh, training videos? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I feel like Daniel got the limp in from Kerry. Oh, oh, I found it. It's called the PGT golf jacket. He's too, he's too aggro. I got That's it. what I have it's on. It's small. It's yeah, always been zippers. my problem. Yeah, this one. There's a blue one and a black one. Yeah. Yeah, you have the. I have it on. That's also me in the photo. Just it is. You're wondering. I, 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 I like <laughs> I like the fact that they used some uh, models that actually. I wasn't supposed to be, and then the other model didn't show up. <laughs> so they were like, "Hey, Donnie, can you put this on?" Yeah, these, sure. Why these, not? These models are more representative of the target audience, Donnie. Yeah, we're real people. Real people, like exactly. Like this guy down here, he's not hes, he's no, not a real person. He's a Viking. Exactly, that's <laughs> not a real person. Does it say on the on the page of what size the model is wearing? I think I had a large one. It should really say, you know, your size and then what you're wearing. So that's, a, that's a good idea. I like that. Three-way action here. Cats, best hand. Sylvester does have the 10 high flush draw. Gonna make the call. Shulman gonna get out of the way, I'm assuming. Yep. All right. To the turn we go. Low we got GTO carry and Action Ed going, <laughs> going to battle. Low mileage asking how much is first place. It's $216,000 today. JT asked if Josh Arie is playing. Right, no, so but your, he's likely going to come out in March Queen of Diamonds a free card. for the PLO series. I guess, at least. Uh-oh. That was a bad free card to give you. <laughs> that is correct. Yes, it was. Sylvester now with the winning flush. Cats still with a pair of aces, but in a whole lot of trouble. Let's see if Sylvester's going to lead. All right. I give up. I believe you. you seem like an honest Ed. Oh, I have a flush. Huh? Honest Ed. Good one? Good enough. <laughs> you, have it on the, you, got, you got it on the river, though, right? Yeah. Nice sound. Very friendly game today, Donnie. Yeah, you know. That Shulman showing in cards. and for you, too, pal. You are? It was good enough. I mean, I had I, the best hand on the river. Pardon? I had the best hand on the river. The best hand on the river? No, until the river. Oh, not until on the, the river. river. Definitely not on the river. Oh, well, you, did, did, would you, did, what kind of pair could you beat? I did have a pair. Yeah. Like a Jack Queen or something. Yeah, a pair on the turn. did have me beat. Which surprised me though. All right. Nope. Limpin's not really working out that well, so I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is phenomenal. <laughs> Tobias asking when Run It Back is coming back. I don't know. It's a good question. Had a hard time locking down guests for the show, and I wanted to do something fresh and exciting. So one and a quarter. I put it off for a one bit. So it's, it's sixty. You never oh. know. Pardon? It's just sixty. I don't have any oh, change. Oh, that's just get, a limp. Get five blue points. There you go. That just a limp? Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is very much. This is what we do at final table. A home game. <laughs> <laughs> limp. 
Carries limping, making change in the middle of hands. I like your imitation. <laughs> Ed's going to limp behind. I mean, why not? Are we going to get a family pot out of this? Nah, Shulman's got the old like seven deuce off. I'll tell you that right now. I don't stack. think Shing's going to allow this to be limped through with the ace jack of clubs. Also with quite the chip lead. Probably going to punish his opponents here. Bit of a raise. I just got an amazing text thing. message. An amazing text message. You want a million dollars? No, it's close, though. <laughs> so in case you're familiar with, with Las Vegas restaurant scene, there's a place called Herbs and Rye. It's very hard to get a reservation during their happy hour, which is half off steaks. Now, you as a vegetarian, maybe not too much into that. However, me, as someone who likes a piece of meat, I made a reservation for this back in November, <laughs> and I forgot about it. And I just, <laughs> I just got a text saying, your reservation is coming up today at 5.30 p.m. And I'm like, okay, I guess we're having steak tonight. There you go. Oh, my day's got a whole lot better. Anyway, Shing, back to the... Shing made it 2.50 <laughs> to go out of the big blind after... Carry and Ed limped. Both players called. King four deuce. Shing misses, but still has the best hand. Sylvester picks up straight draw. Cats with the flush draw. Cats with the most equity. This is the first three way hand with some actual money in the middle. Still, this hand could still go. I just got a text too from Alan Barry. Alan says Barry. you're a vegetarian. <laughs> Alan Barry. Uh, yeah, I don't eat meat. Pescatarian. Three twenty-five. Although I was gonna tell Remco if I make it to the if I make it to the World Series, then I'll probably stay. But every day I'm getting really close. To really? This. Yeah, I'm fuck. I'm about to be over it. <laughs> how long? How long have you been a vegetarian? Uh, January two thousand seventeen. Wow. And you're about to crack. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, honestly, I see these steaks on all these billboards everywhere, and I'm like, I want one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like let's go already. <laughs> Big decision here for Cats with the flush draw. Shing betting 325 with just ace high. Sebesta with the gut shot. Th th this hand could go any which way. It just depends on what Cats is going to do here. I would love to see him shove here, but of course, that is just me asking for the most possible action <laughs> he uh, frustratedly <laughs> tosses this in the muck what's action ed gonna do seeing some people asking in the chat where can i watch when this finishes pokergo.com we have monthly quarterly and That's annual simple. subscriptions available you. You seem the annual sub is one, the best Gary. deal use pg cup 23 to save 20 dollars yeah. on your annual subscription pg cup 23 i wasn't happy Oh, mine too. Yeah, sorry. That hand, the best and cats both losing chips. Shulman now in second place possible. on the leaderboard. Are you happy when you fall? Shane, I mean, 99 big blinds, Donnie. It depends, I suppose. It's a good number. That's fair. That thing's worse than folding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skipping lunch today. I'm having Do you have anything that hand? Or you just steal the pot. He had the best hand. We're going to know soon enough. I don't ever really lie when people ask me what I had. Right. They don't believe you anyway. So just tell them the truth. <laughs> Meanwhile, for those who want to go to her Herbs and Rye, Bruce Raiden just told me that you can just also just go in there and wait for 20 minutes to get a table. But hey, that did not sound as exciting as me making a reservation, reservation about 80 days ago, forgetting about it. Hats defending. Ching is getting real crafty here, Donnie, with the 9-3 off. No problem. Yeah, I mean, 9-3 off isn't a good enough hand to, to limp in, play out of position, so just raise it. Flops the best hand here, Jack 10-9. Wow. What's it like? Yeah, that, what's it like? That chip leader run good, we saw it yesterday as well with the Ram Zobian. Sean Winter went from almost zero to hero in event number one. Meanwhile, this is the final hand of our one-hour free preview. So head on over to pokergo.com.
to listen to Alina Jad and Maria Ho on the commentary. PG Cup 23 to save some money on the annual sub. Thomas Shepard, when are Remco and Donnie going to cast the whole tourney? We did event number one, start to finish. We did. Event number one, the full stream available on YouTube if you want to rewatch that. Had some good fun with it. Hopefully we get to do many again during the WSP. Yeah. 225. Yeah. <coughs> that was always fun last last year. Nine hours of stud eight, Donnie. Let's oh. go. I thought we did a lot of really good things, so hopefully we can continue that for another summer. Yeah, the nine hours of stud eight. Shout out Kevin Gerhardt for sticking with us for, for that whole thing. Shing takes this one down. Kerry Katz folds his pair of sevens. And on that note, we are out. Thank you so much for tuning in. We did not hit the likes we needed for the free annual subscription. But we'll try again tomorrow. Or actually, sorry, we'll try again on Monday because tomorrow we are off. Continue watching right now on PokerGo.com, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.